All right. Let's get into the new players here. We got some new players here. We got new Giants. New Giants. Got that fresh Giants smell there. Ooh. So we did a running back swap first off. So the Giants signed Lorenzo Lingard and waived Jacob Sailors. Now, you might have noticed who Jacob was because he was the guy standing on the sideline during the Lions game, not really playing at all when everybody else is running amok and doing good things. That just told you right there what the Giants thought of him. Again, I like to mm. connect dots. That's not a difficult dot to connect. When Dante Miller is doing like 15 rushes in the fourth quarter and Sailor is sitting on the sideline, not even getting a chance, that tells you what you need to know. That they like Miller, they don't like Sailors, and sailors has gone now. So let's meet the newest giant, Lorenzo Lingard. So he was originally signed as an uh, undrafted rookie free agent uh, uh, coming out of Akron. But he's also played a couple of different places, guys. Um, so besides the fact that he's already been with the Jacksonville Jaguars camp here, I mean college. So he played for the Miami Hurricanes and the Florida Gators before using his sixth year of eligibility, which still sounds ridiculous to say, his sixth year of eligibility in college at Akron. Yeah. So he had only 186 rushes in his entire college career. So really not the usual mileage you expect on a back that spent six years in college. Uh, at Akron last year at 143 rushes, 641 yards, four touchdowns, 38 catches, 368 yards, and two touchdowns. I got to be honest with you guys. That does not impress me. Like, if this was a Shania Twain song, it'd be, <laughs> that don't impress me much. Because but he's got a car. <laughs> <laughs> that don't impress me much. <laughs> uh, it's like, that'd be the second talking Giants reference to me in this episode. Where's Justin Pennick? We need him. He's a huge Shania Twain fan. Um, <laughs> but it's just, like you went to a tiny college and you didn't own it. Like you didn't embarrass yourself. I'm not saying you didn't belong in the college ranks. But for me to be impressed by a small school guy, you got to freaking own it. Like you got to be, I am the best player, not just on the football program, but at this entire school. 600 yeah. yards ain't doing it for me, guys. And I got to so wonder. Rock scientist. That don't impress me much. Well, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sheesh. But so you're Brad Pitt? <laughs> yeah. Well, that don't impress me much. <laughs> anyway. Oh my God. Uh, all right. Go but <laughs> take the riddle and take the riddle and take yeah. the riddle. But it's like I look at I look at those numbers. I'm sorry. I'm just not. It's like I'm not going to say the whole thing. <laughs> but it's like it's a thousand yards basically you put up. That's not that much. Like I want a 13, 1400, you know, season out of you to be impressed at Akron. Yes. This is uh camp body all over it. hundred percent. And you got to wonder, did sailors want to get cut? Cause he was actually, I don't want to say he was a big get, but he had a really good year at the UFL playing for the St. Louis battle Hawks. Um, and there was a couple of teams that did want him. So you got to wonder if there, he's like, you know what? There's no path for me here, guys. Let me go. I, yeah, I, I wonder. And I, I have no news in that, guys. I'm not trying to say that I have any breaking news on that. I have any inside information. I just, to me, the Giants obviously want an additional running back. That's why they dropped him and picked up another one. So it just makes me wonder if he's going to now see if another team that might not have the depth that we have. How great is that here to say, by the way? Right, so so awkward. Yeah, we have great depth. Oh, <laughs> we do. Listen, we do. All those guys look great. Again, it's preseason. Yeah. I don't want to get too excited. Same as we talked about with Drew Lock. I don't want to get too excited. <laughs> but they all looked very good at the very least. They look like they can hang, and they are all legitimate NFL running backs at that point. So, um, you know, again, can Lingard make the roster? Probably not. So enjoy his couple weeks as a Giant. Maybe he goes in the practice squad. Who knows? Maybe that's what happens. You know, maybe that's maybe that's kind of a deal they made with him. Like, hey, we're gonna put you, keep you on the roster for a couple weeks. At the end of the, we're probably gonna cut you, but we'll try to pop you on the practice squad and see what happens. Yeah, that very well. Yeah, try to pay you. You get listen. You get those handshake deals sometimes. You do, and if you're gonna put somebody up there, you might as well get a guy who doesn't doesn't have a lot of tread uh, taking off the tires yet, and is inexperienced because. 
he had almost all of his career rushes. He had 186 rushes, 143 of them last year. So he only had 40 rushes at his time, both Florida and Miami. So we'll see what happens yeah. with him. It'd be, we'll see what happens if that that if I'm right on that. And I'm wondering if Sailors ends up signing with somebody else pretty quick there and you know Lingard ends up on the practice squad. So if you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm I'm begging you, please, please subscribe.